it's the wolf. All right, all right. It's that time, guys. What's up, guys? It's your boy, the Bad Wolf, here bringing you more information on, well, the world of admiralty and maritime jurisdiction. Now, if this is your first time here and you don't know exactly what I'm talking about, you definitely want to go to my YouTube channel and just start watching the videos. All right. Now, as we all know, uh, most of my videos are not displayed for reasons previously explained because that's just how YT does it. So what you got to do if you want to see all of the videos, all right, go to my YouTube channel and then you're going to click on the playlist that says full video list. OK, if you just scroll down or go through whatever, you're only going to see like the top 100, maybe 200. And at the time of this recording, uh, which is probably about a week ago for you guys ish, um, I have about 777 videos of all goodness. All right. And most of them are only going to be between 5, 15, maybe 20 minutes long. So it's not that bad. And that's where you're going to get all the education. Unless you want to join the Wolf Pack, which is the private area from the pack, where we talk about other private things. So today, this was going to be a Wolf Pack exclusive, but I got some more stuff for the Wolf Pack coming up. So thank you. Hold tight, guys. I got some more goodies just for you. Um, but I'm going to break this one for everybody. Um, this is it's actually nothing new, but it's new here. And I know a lot of people, especially my people, have not seen this particular bit of information. So it is hot. So if you see me mark any video hot or fire, it is just that. All right. So before we get into that, I want to thank everybody for coming here and subscribing. If you guys see anybody using my information, my intellectual properties, likeness, logos, videos in a negative way, make sure you report them for bullying, slandering, defamation of character, and all the good stuff. Otherwise, from my heart to you guys, I appreciate and love each and every one of you. I still see your names and you pop up as subscribers. Um, thank you especially to the people in the Wolfpack because that monthly donation, whether it's $1.99 to $24.99, um, you get all the shared information no matter what level you're on. So thank you for those people who elected to pick any of them, all of them, all right? So thank you for that. And... If you need any merchandise, hats, hoodies, shirts, mugs, down below, you can find information on the little scroll bar or go to blacksite32.com to be able to get that information, those materials and merchandise, consultations, files, free files, and all about how to get started and whatever else. So without further ado, let's make it all about you. All right. So this particular video is about a, it's called, it's a book. And it's in PDF form. And don't worry about this. You're going to be able to get it free. All right. It's not my book. And uh, I did not write it. But I have come across it years ago. And I finally found it again. Because if you're not looking for something specific, you won't find it. So it did take me a while to find it. Now that I found it, I'm going to share with you guys. Because it's like, man, <sighs> I could just keep it to the wolf. I could keep it to myself and, you know, use it for commerce and business. But nope, I told you, I'm going to always try to bring you guys a lot of good free fire materials. And the only things I charge for are my stuff or stuff that I've done and worked on and that I can bring to you guys, my intellectual properties. So this, um, I believe this book is, uh, or PDF book is, well, you're going to be able to get it. All right. You're going to, step you through it. Um, we're not going to go through every single chapter reading everything because that's on you. And that would be a very, very long video. You know, I, you know, I don't do that. But um, you can find it online for free. So I don't know if it's out of print or if the copyright has uh, expired on it, but it's available in multiple areas. So um, I don't I don't like to take away from anybody else's work. So like I said, I'm not going to go through all their information, but I will hip you to the book. And if it's still available for purchase, then if you guys feel so inclined, do that. Um, but I'm going to give you the information so that you can at least know what's in each chapter. And then you can make your own decision on how you want to obtain that. But it is recommended that if it is for sale to go ahead and buy that. Uh, but I just did a simple Google search, came up for free on multiple platforms. 
So I will let you self-govern because that's not my decision. And I'm just showing what I found on there. And like I said, I'm not going to go into their any of their intellectual properties. So, you know, we don't get in any kind of trouble or get any hate mail or whatever else. Uh, without further ado, let's get into what we got going on here. So one second and I will be sharing the screen. All right, all right. So check it out. This particular book is called A, a Treatise on Arrest and False Imprisonment. All right, so as you can see here, it's already been viewed by 1,682 people. 13 people have favored it, and it's available. I know you could probably find it on Amazon um, for whatever the price may be. Um, or you can do a Google search like I did. I think this one's on uh, archive, archive.org. So I have no idea what their arrangement is on here, but believe it or not, I can actually go through the whole entire book and I can see it. But once again, to prevent not going against or taking anything from Charles A. Wiseman, um, <laughs> uh, I'm not going to go through all their materials. But I will break down what we have going on here in the various chapters to kind of, as they say, get your beak wet as to why you should go online and either buy this or get it free or go to archive.org and at least be able to read it online. So you probably still have to buy the physical book if you actually want it, but let's get going. All right, so a treatise on arrest and false imprisonment. Let's go. All right, so here, start off at the top. All right, so this is back from 1993. So some of the information might be a little old. Some of it could possibly be outdated. I like the fact that it says it's printed in the United States of America. And you can get the ISBN number here and order yours off of Amazon or wherever else um, if you feel so inclined. All right. Uh, the third edition was put out in 2004. Looks like that's the latest update. But the information is good. And let's start off with here on the left side introduction. So one or number two, definition of false imprisonment. So what constitutes you being falsely imprisoned? Is that everything from the moment a cop turns on his lights because that's declaring a state of emergency when if there is no emergency is a federal offense and then they're they're detaining you unlawfully have you committed a crime or but if you're a US citizen and you committed a civil infraction then yes they have that right but if you are a national of the United States and you're not endangering public safety by speeding and just, you know, running through lights and being dangerous. OK, if you're doing those things, it doesn't matter about your do not detain status. It doesn't matter that you're a national because you're in public safety will always trump. Your status or your standing because you don't have the right to do that. And if you're doing that, then you're not one of my wolves because um, we self-govern and you could be putting your life in danger and other people's life in danger. And they can yank your passport. They can yank all that stuff. All right. So don't be out there doing anything dumb. All right. And also for those people in law enforcement doing a, a good job, thank you for doing a good job for citizens and for nationals. All right. And as we all know, sheriffs are supposed to be on the side of the republic and the under the Constitution of America. So for those good ones out there, thank you. And remember, sorry, but I just got to say it. If you're one of the good cops and you're not informing your internal bureaus on the bad ones privately, confidentially, then you're almost as bad as the ones who you're letting get away with it. So we do need you guys doing the right things out there. All right. All right. So I digress. Let's get back to it. So what constitutes false imprisonment? OK. And as we go down here, the next part says the length of time required that they can hold you and do these things. Were you damaged? Or do they have any liability? Malicious prosecution. 
All right. This is fire information, guys. This book is going to break these things down. It's going to give you the actual constitutional references, the Supreme Court cases, all that about this stuff. So let's keep going. All right. So in the third, arrest without a warrant. They do this a lot because a lot of times it's not a true judicial warrant. It's a bench warrant, meaning inside the corporation legal for 14th Amendment U.S. citizens. The, land, the law of the land, all right? Law, remember, law stands for land, air, water. And if you put an S on there, space, because that's the new frontier. So the laws of all of those things. Summonses, you need these things in here. You need to know about the summonses that they send you. Are they um, contracts? Are they offers? Okay. Of what you should know about doing complaints, all right? A memorandum on of law and arrests without a warrant. Number four, breach of the peace, okay, and felony arrest. What is a breach of peace? Arrest of breach of peace, threatened breach of peace, and conditions of a felony arrest. All right. Slide down a little bit. Come on, come on with the come on. All right. Defense of unlawful arrest. Unlawful. What does unlawful mean? Well, remember law, the true law, not legal, the true law, meaning the Constitution. Okay. And the Supreme Court are the true laws of this land. The states have sovereignty over what is theirs, which are going to be federalized state employees, 14th Amendment U.S. citizens. State employees, all of that jazz. All right. So defense and 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 temporarily and technically you if you do something that's against the true law. Okay. So in these in unlawful arrests, you're talking about burden of proof. You're talking about good faith and probable cause. Ignorance of the law, not only on your side, but on their side because they think they know the law. They know legal things, but they don't know all of the law. Guilty, guilt of a party arrested and immunity, because they have certain immunities, but you have certain immunities because you are the creator of the constitution. You're the creator of the Supreme Court. So it doesn't mean that you stand above them, but you are the creator and the creation cannot be more powerful than the creator. All right. So keep that in mind. Doesn't mean you can go out there and talk jazz. But when you know what you're doing and you're self-governing, you've done nothing wrong, then most likely you're going to be in the proper position. OK, number six, the use of warrant in arrests, warrant to be in possession of the arresting officer. If they're slapping handcuffs on you and they're telling you under arrest. Where's the warrant? You can't just kidnap and traffic somebody. Where is the warrant? You, warrant to be shown upon arrest and is assigned by a judge. You can't just take people and do that just because you're, you've been able to do it and not have your, uh, your, you go to court and be sued and have your house and car taken from you, your uh, bonds hit, or your monkey A-Z-Z beat, okay? You have to have a signed warrant from a judicial judge. Just saying. But believe you me, as in this knowledge gets out there, and I do not condone any violence, nonviolence, but the lawsuits, if that's where you get, people have to be hit for, the, for these things to be changed, for the people to be uh, woken up, for the charade to be exposed, then so be it. So mote it be. All right. Invalid and unlawful warrants. So on page 46, they're going to tell you how to identify these things so that you're not just getting got. Now, obviously, I don't want this information to be used for people who have done bad things. Okay? Not at all. 
But that just means that we people who are getting our rights trampled on by uninformed people who are in positions of authority and um, we have the right to defend ourselves. And that also then means that you guys need to create a good environment and make sure that you're doing things properly against the bad people and stop abusing good people out there, whether they're citizens or nationals. All right. Facts. All right. So bringing an arrested person before a magistrate. Did you know that when they arrest you, you were taken down there? They didn't have a warrant. They brought you down there. They were supposed to bring you in front of a magistrate. No matter what time of day, during the week, you have that right to defend yourself, to tell them who it is, explain what it is, to see if you're even supposed to be able to be there. So the duty of the officer comes in, okay? As a trespasser, A, B, and Etio, okay? Who's trespassing? Who's a trespasser? Okay, next, detainment is not a decision of an arresting officer. Go ahead, I'll wait. Are you with me? I told you guys, this information is fire. Why? Because what did it say again? Detainment is not a decision of arresting officer. Okay? That section by itself, page 53, fire. Okay? Arresting and releasing without bringing before a magistrate. Oh, I think the wolf has been here. Hmm. What you need to know about that? Okay. And number seven, lastly on there, defenses. How do you defend yourself? Okay. Let's jump to number eight. Distortions of fundamental law. Your due process was neglected. 70% of everybody who's been harassed by cops and unlawfully detained and other things or whatever else did not receive their due process. Your due process was neglected. Next, Fourth Amendment argument. Okay, read that. I'm not even going to go into that when you read it. Okay, highway and traffic laws. Highway stands for the high waterways in an admiralty maritime jurisdiction because that's when you can do business. What is traffic? Traffic is commerce, commercial, business being done on those waterways. These are the laws for them and apply to 14th Amendment U.S. citizens, federalized state employees, employees of the state. Doesn't mean the average national can just ignore these things for safety reasons, but you are supposed to self-govern, okay? Abide by these rules, they're put there to help protect everybody, but they pertain mostly to those people who are doing business, consider traffic. I wasn't doing traffic. All right, resisting arrest. I'm not even gonna get into this one because this is a very sensitive and touchy thing here, and I don't wanna see anybody do anything dumb, but you need to understand your rights in the fact of a re resisting arrest. Yes, you do have rights to this. It should be done carefully, and cautiously, and you should self-govern. And at the end of the day, unless they're abusing you, like try, like a, a sexual assault or something like that, it is always best to survive the situation and to then be able to sue them properly and deal with it the proper way, okay? All right, handcuffing. There's some things that they can and cannot do there abuse and leaving bruises and this and that. You got to read it for yourself. All right. From there, post-arrest booking procedures, including fingerprinting. How are they fingerprinting you when there was no warrant? You're Maybe you're not even a, a citizen. You're a national. You've not been convicted of anything, but now they have your material property. Those are things that you can sue over. You can have them to, uh, force them to remove your information. They took those that these are yours. This is yours. Your image, all this stuff has a value. Okay. This is where you have your um, 
your fee structures, you know, your schedule fees put in. All right. And then lastly, limitations upon arrests. All right. Now, as you can see from here, all right, it starts to get into the book and starts to go in all that. So I'm not going to go through all of that because um, that's their comp, that's their material. I know it is available online. One, I don't want to make a long video on all that stuff. I could probably take each and individual piece and then just for the next 10 years on YouTube or whatever else, in 10 months, we'll just say, go through each and every one of these. But nope, you guys now have the information. Read it. Understand it. Do not abuse it. And self-govern. So, y'all ready for this? Dun, 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 dun. So, my fellow... America, my fellow Americans, you now have more information and you are armed with it. So by all means, self-govern, read that PDF, go to Google and uh, search for or Amazon or whatever you, you elect to do. Like I said, uh, I found it free, but uh, if you got, uh, it's probably only a couple bucks anyway on Amazon. And if you want to, if you're so caring and generous, if it's still available for, for purchase, then uh, buy it and, you know, uh, help the person out who sacrificed their time and energy and effort. Um, I know a lot of my materials are bought and shared and used as well. Um, you know, that's why, like I said, I do a lot for free, but the donations and supporting definitely goes a long way because, um, you know, we, we put in the hard work and efforts and time to bring you guys this stuff and we're living this life, you know? So, tr so don't be ultra cheap, you know, support people when you can. Uh, I know everybody's kind of, uh, you know, on a budget and whatever else, but, you know, even if it's like $3 or $5 on Patreon, which I am on, James C. Love it, it means a lot because it shows that you guys truly like watching this. And we've got 30,000 subscribers, a number of, I think, 100 or so odd, maybe uh, paid. And then I've got another 40,000 that view the channel. And so if everybody sent in like even $1, you know what I mean? Uh, so just do your part when you can, and if not, just pay it forward. So that's about it, guys. Um, definitely a little bit longer video, but uh, lots of fire information, so it's totally worth it. And I know people have been asking for slightly longer videos, but that being said, I got to go because I have a consultation because people want some more information, and we're going to bring it to you. All right, so that's it. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to hit that bell and subscribe, and uh, feel free to share the information in positive manners. I got business to take care of. All right. So have a great day. Take care of each other. Stay wise, stay woke, stay aware, stay warm and uh, support. Get yourself a, a bad wolf mug. All right. Something. Take care, guys. Have a good one. Hopefully uh, you, you guys, man, hopefully you guys truly appreciate the power of the, of the information. That being said, 